the uh, cost will reach $8,000. Okay? So that's one solution technique. What else can you do? What else can you do? Well, there's more solution techniques than that. I could take this 8,000 and I could move it over to this side. I could subtract it so that the left-hand side is zero. And then I can look for a zero. And finding the zero of that new equation where the left-hand side is zero uh, will also be the answer to this question. So here, once again, I'm going to go into the calculator, and I'm going to do something tricky. Instead of actually subtracting 8,000 out by hand from the equation, I'm just going to write minus 8,000 right there, right in Y1. All right? I just subtracted it. Okay? Now, what that's going to do is it's going to shift the whole graph down. So when I go to graph this thing, you'll notice that things have changed quite a bit. The graph that I had is gone, okay? The graph that I had is gone, and it's been shifted way down. So I can't even really see where it is. So I need to readjust my window here. Okay, so I'm looking for a zero, so I actually have to go from negative to positive. So let's see. I just need to see the zero, so I'm going to work with like minus 3,000 to 3,000. Let's graph that. Okay, so there's my shifted parabola, and there's the intersection with the horizontal axis. And now all I have to do is find this zero. So it's second calc and zero. This one's a little different. I have to go on the left side of it, of the zero, of that intersection with the horizontal axis. Unfortunately, I cannot use the intersect command here. I have to go to the right side of it, and then I have to be somewhere in between. And I press enter again, and it jumps right on there. And notice what? It gives me the same answer, 14.66, August of 2004. But you notice the output is 0 as opposed to 8,000 in the other technique. That's because we've shifted the entire function down by 8,000. So the output is now 0. But it doesn't matter. The input's still the same, August of 2004. So uh, there's a couple different sec solution techniques. Because this, is a <coughs> because this is a quadratic, and this technique will only work with quadratics, I can use the quadratic formula. I can use the quadratic formula. And what would that be? Well, uh, what if I uh, already had the quadratic formula programmed in my calculator? I do. Here it is right here. Okay? So... Uh, I'm going to run this program called AAA Quad. You'd have to download a program from the internet from uh, one of the websites that has calculator programs if you'd want to have this on yours. Okay? So all I got to do is put in the A, B, and C. Now all I have to do is be careful. Here's the A, here's the B, but the C is not 5974. It's 5974, 72, excuse me, minus 8,000. So I have to shift everything down to zero, like I did in the other technique, in order to use the quadratic formula. Okay, And I can even be clever. I can do the arithmetic right on that line, so I don't have to do it separately. Okay, So I press Enter, and out comes the answers. Of course, in the quadratic formula, it's possible to have two answers. And we're not interested in the negative one. That would be talking about times before the year 1990. We're not interested in those. So the answer of interest is right here. And you see it's still the same answer, 14.266, which is August of 2004. Okay? So uh, there are some different possibilities for solution techniques uh, to go along with uh, ways that the calculator can evaluate a function. If you use these, you'll discover that most of these problems become very easy compared to trying to do these things by hand. Have a good time with your new techniques.